Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing the new releases for this week and I know that I mentioned before that I was going to be doing it every other week uh, and that was the plan but then I found out I was moving and um, so I already had a few things designed and a few things that are going to be finished being designed soon so um, through the end of March I'm just going to be doing it every week um, just so I can get that stuff released and then you guys will have uh, time to purchase it before I have to move and everything. So it's just easier this way. Uh, after I move and get settled and everything, um, new releases will probably go back to every other week. So we'll see. It just depends. Um, but this week I have three kits that are going to be released and um, the first one is called Puddles and this is a, a full kit exclusive but it does have um, the add-on options so go ahead and show you Puddles. Get that out of the way. So you get the full boxes which I'm like really in love with this. Like the friggin' raccoon and the raincoat is just so dang cute. And then you have the uh, full check boxes, the bottom washi day covers, and extra full box. Your boxes and labels, and then the patterns on these are just very subtle, like watercolor patterns, your headers and little things, icons page, and again all the patterns are just very subtle watercolory type patterns, your washi page with your weekly boxes and your heart checklist, and then your last functional page. So cute. So there is the Puddles full kit and then there is the option to purchase the glitter sampler and the deco sheet which is just so stinking cute. I can't wait to use this kit. Adorable. I'm going to save this kit until April personally. And then the next kit is called Native and this is another ooh, focus focus this is another uh, another full kit exclusive. So I'm going to show you the kit real quick and then I have something to say about this one in particular after. So there's the full boxes. The heart checklists are quite different than anything I've done before. They have like the feathers here. But I thought like once they're separated, it'll look extra cool. The bottom washi and date covers an extra full box. The boxes and labels sheet. Your headers and little things. Icons page. Washi page. And then your last functional sheet. Now, one the thing I wanted to say about this kit is that it have any kit in my shop that has very deep, like burgundy or maroon reds. Um, if you purchase that kit on matte, the red will most likely come out more of a like like more brown than it looks in the um in the listing photos and it's I don't know what it is there's something about the combination between the matte paper that I use and my printer ink that any like real it doesn't happen with like lighter maroons and reds like or even like medium tone ones it's just like the real deep like rich deep dark ones that it likes to kind of turn it more brownish. Um, so if you purchase this kit in matte, uh, it 
like this bottom washi right here how it's like a dark brown on the mat um in the listing photo it looks more of a like really deep burgundy color um but if you purchase it in um glossy it will look like it does on the listing now i am going to still be offering this in matte because i know a lot of people prefer matte and it's not um taking away from the quality of the kit and it's not like ruining the color scheme as far as i um like in my opinion it's not ruining the color scheme um but this this third color here is meant to be more of a like really dark brownish toned burgundy um so that's just something to keep in mind if you plan on purchasing it in the, the reason I'm still offering it in matte is because I don't mind the color scheme with it as a like darker brown it still has like a it's still warm tone brown I don't know if it's picking up the, the warm tone on the camera but it is definitely still a warm tone brown it's just not as burgundy as it was meant to be so that's just something to keep in mind if you plan on purchasing this kit if you purchase it in matte it will be more of a, like a like a like deep warm tone brown just something to keep in mind if you are absolutely set on the color scheme in the listing photo then I would definitely recommend buying it in glossy but again for me it doesn't like they both look good so I'm just gonna offer it in both and uh, you can see in the glitter sampler because there are different tones um, that it does pick up some of the like burgundy tones in there too so that is good with me so that is the optional glitter sampler that you can add on and then there also is a deco sheet that you can add on as well so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the, the little plastic So that is native and the last kit option is going to be available in a full kit and a mini kit. So I'll go ahead and show you the full kit first. This is called Ariel. And this one is kind of like loosely um, the Little Mermaid themed. It's mostly just like mermaid underwater themed um it does have like a little red-headed mermaid here that looks kind of like ariel and then it does have a fish here that kind of looks like um flounder Ugh, i was spacing on his name so hard right there um but yes so there are the full boxes the bottom washi date covers and extra full box the boxes and labels The heart checklist. Your headers and little things. Icons page. Your washi weeklies and heart checklist. And your last functional page right there so that is the full kit for Ariel and I am so in love with this kit so cute and then I'll go ahead and show you the mini kit as well the kits for this week's releases are kind of random like you got one like spring themed kit this is more of like a fall themed kit I'm definitely gonna save this one for probably like November which is a little weird to be releasing it right now but um, I just really wanted to <laughs> and then this is like a summery kit so I know it's a little it's a little all over the place but it's okay so this is the mini kit same full boxes same bottom washi date cover sheet you have the modified boxes sheet um, so this is a mini kit exclusive sheet uh, you get some headers, little things, and solid boxes and labels. You have the modified, um, I don't know, the second 
modified mini kit sheet you so you get some flags you get pattern washi one weekly one heart checklist um pattern labels one bill do one habit tracker and then all the um heart checklist banners oh my gosh my brain is not cooperating and then you do get the same functional sheet as in the full kit so that is the aerial mini kit And then there is the option to purchase a glitter sampler um, add-on for this kit. There's no deco for this kit, but yeah, that is it for this week. Nice and simple. Um, I'm going to be trying to come out with as many releases as I can in the next couple weeks. Um, but I do have a spring, another spring kit that's going to be coming out next week. Um, and then hopefully a couple more spring kits, but we'll see what I'm able to get done. So that is it. That is this week's new releases. These will be available on the website and on Etsy um, at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. The only thing is that through the month of March, there is going to be a moving sale, and the sale is only going to be happening on the website. It will not be happening on Etsy and all stickers. Um, will be 50% off, uh, including the new releases will be 50% off, and then um, the cherry blossom bundles are actually also going to be on sale. Those will be 25% uh, off, so those would be $75. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please check out these releases on Friday. So it'll be this Friday. Let's see what that date is. Friday, the, Friday March 8th these will be available so thank you so much for watching uh and i will see you later brain fart like oh my gosh bye guys <laughs>